to the, the discussion that everything has a geometric shape. Um, oftentimes we don't look at nature as being one of those things that's geometric until you get down, you know, maybe to the really small levels, but, but yet it, it is. And when you create things with a, a toy similar to yours that is based off of that natural um, structure, then, right. um, then you, you see it instantly instead of somebody saying, you know, trying to point it out to you. I mean, your kid, the kids are basically building it and proving the, the geometric, I guess, um, hypotheses or, you know, the, what do you call them? I, I forget. But, <laughs> you know, when you work out geometry and you, you make a proof. Um, right. So, because we did hands-on geometry with my kids and it, it I hated geometry, but I loved teaching them geometry when we did paper folding and showed that one side was equal to the other. Well, you can't dispute it when it's like right in front of you. And, right. <laughs> you know, it's like, exactly. oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Like hands on and manipulatives are so important. And I see that in all the classrooms and um, and all over. And it's so important. I think that children can understand it better rather than maybe just seeing on a chalkboard or seeing it in a book. And um, I wish they would have had that because math was not my best or favorite subject when I was growing up. Um, yeah, but if you could see it and you could build it and you could actually, I think that you understand it, you know, better. You do, yeah. It, it goes into a whole different part of your memory bank where you right. store it. I remember teaching my son even calculus, and I went through all the calculus in college and never understood it the way he did because I taught it to him analytically versus mm -hmm. theoretically. And right. we were graphing charts. I was like, so that's what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't have no words <laughs> with a graph. Um, right. But but his grasp on math was so much better in college because mm. he had that connection to this is basically just a, you know, a wave. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so the more you can build those things into your child's learning as a base, the better off they're going to be able to build on that later on as they get into the more of the theoretical type things. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this whole STEM push, you know, it really started because we, we didn't want to lose, you know, the space race and, and we wanted mm -hmm. to have more women in the engineering and, and all of this. And so so we started boosting, you know, the science and technology, engineering and math. Um, and like you said, unfortunately, sometimes the arts and all that got pushed out. <laughs> right, right. But, um, but thankfully, that's making a little bit of a comeback. As yes, yes, for sure. I'm so happy to, yeah, to see that. Are. Right. But. 